RenderForest.com. Hey guys, this is Autobot Gamer. Uh, back with another Transformers review. So, today we'll be taking a look at, by the name of the title, you can obviously already tell, but Transformers Prime Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. Now, as you can see, he's a pretty cool uh, semi truck, kind of going off the whole movie style, but it's like the movie style Optimus Prime, because Ultra Magnus is now just. And always kind of has been just repaints of Optimus. Only now they just kind of make him with his body armor. And that's just sad. Because Ultra Magnus deserves to be like the G1. And that, that one is legit awesome. But, yeah. So, I would just point out I actually do not have the Optimus Prime Voyager mold from Transformers Prime. But... Uh, I got other things to compare him to, but we're going to start off with just taking a look at Ultra Magnus. So we're going to go ahead and take off this section and take these out and just set those off to the side. And just take a look at his normal semi-truck. So, as you can see, it's not 100% normal because he's missing the big smokestacks on the side. He didn't, he never came with those, so I, I don't know why they don't have those. It's probably just due to the gimmick later, but you can see. It's very nice. He's got a weird weird uh, windshield. But he also has these big things sticking out the back here. That are, you can kind of pose them around a little bit and get them looking like how you want them to, but because like, they open up like this, and I'll show you why later. But you can open them up, make them into like turbines off the side. Kind of looks more like Platinum Edition. I am sorry. Uh, it, yeah, they move up. I don't. There's really nothing you can do to make these look good without all the other stuff on there. But if you, if those weren't there, this would be a very nice truck. So yeah, he's got. Rear view mirrors here, they don't look like mirrors, but they are. There's nothing behind them to make a reflective, however, which just kind of stinks. Uh, trailer hitch, nice bed details. You, know, you can kind of see into the back of the truck there, but you don't display your figures like this, do you? You display them like this, or like this, or like this, or maybe in robot mode, but here real quick, gotta grab my comparison. Here he is with maybe the original. As you can see, just completely different because Ultra Magnus. Well, he is blue and red, but the original Magnus was a white cab. It was this he came with a big car carrier trailer and that turned into body armor that resembles more like what this guy was, but yeah, this was just a repaint of Optimus, but they at least made him a little bit more different. They gave him something that, well, this basically was Optimus Prime, just it was albino, it's just kind of like that. I'm not going to attach the fists or anything, I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, see, this this was this was Magnus. It's and he had the trailer that would just combine to that. It just I hate what they have done to Ultra Magnus today. It's because it this is what he's supposed to be. Just with the armor, you almost never see him without the armor on. But and I'm not gonna bring down the armor because that's all part of my display shelf. Don't want to mess with that too much. But, uh, yeah, it's not great. And for a more recent figure, here he is with Fall of Cybertron Brawl. Because I have him nearby. Sentinel Prime, Titan Return. I, I describe it who I have nearby, so. So. Let's go ahead and get them all transformed here. So. What you want to start off with is take these 
two side things. I like the big side panels and there's a tab right there. Untabs from there. And you just fold them straight down. Or, wait, no, real quick. While I'm on this subject, you can take this back panel, plug it in, and make like a totally epic if the legs don't come unpegged. Yeah. Stay down. You can make a totally epic flying semi truck. And if you want to take these sections, fold them out, and you can see these two clips here. And then you just take them, clip, clip, there you go. Just like that. So now he's armed. Or you can take them and kind of have these wings fold back a little bit. And then just unpeg, unpeg, fold these back, and then just plug those in like that. And then you can pull these back. Have them more like boosters with those holes. Uh, this is his weapon. Just tabs in. With this small tab, there's a small little slot on the underside of that. And you just line that up, tab it in. Do that. And then if you don't like these big sections, they fold up. And then you can take these. What I personally do, there's little clips on the sides here where you can. You're supposed to clip them in like this. I don't like how that works or how that works. I just peg them in here and fold all this up. It just kind of makes it a little bit more compact and less less big this way. But I, it makes them slimmer. I'll, I'll say that. But uh, yeah, now we'll go ahead and pull all this stuff off. I actually still have this guy's box and everything. It's just up there, so. I don't know. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and start by folding these down. Kind of take this and just fold it back on this hinge. And then fold it kind of back up there in that hinge. And take the grill, get your fingernail under there. Kind of pop it open a little bit. And then you kind of take the arm sections and nope you just kind of pull them up a little bit over these tabs and then you kind of can pull these sections out just be wary there's a tab here that clips under there just be a little bit careful of that and be wary of it you fold these back these two sections will interlock and you just kind of fold these panels up now after that you kind of can fold this section up unpeg these sections back here and then just kind of fiddle with it kind of you can fold this up fold up the hands fold this all the way out and then just unpeg these oh that's what i'm missing you want to take it bend it like that fold these down kind of and just leave them there keep them out of the way and you just kind of keep fiddling with it and then you're able to kind of flip them over then kind of pull it up at this hinge take this piece flip this out kind of do this and then just you know it should just kind of peg in there you go and then these are just on like mushroom pegs up here just kind of rotate them around and snap them straight down into place do it on both sides and then just straighten everything out you can fold these sections back down and then just come in here unfold the feet do that just and flush this section out there you go and now you have ultra magnus and what's more like G1, how we saw him in the cartoon, without all the arm, or with all of his armor on. And then, so this is kind of what he's supposed to look like. You can take this part after you untab it, of course. And there's a couple different things you can do with it. You can have him hold it. You can give him like a hammer hand if you hold his hand up and slide it in through the back. Bend his elbow there, just... Do that. There you go. 
give him a hammer hand if you want to. But it's the Forge of Souls Prime, so it's not really coming from his hand. I just kind of thought that was a cool thing. Uh, this is kind of based off the Arms Micron version, because uh, I've seen reviews over that one, and, it, and I've seen reviews over the original version of the mold. And the original didn't have these ports. The Arms Micron version did. It was Nemesis Prime, I do believe. But uh, Arms Micron had these ports. Ultra Magnus has these ports. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of cool that they threw in the silver stripes on the arms, kind of like uh, G1. That was kind of cool. I do kind of like that. But, yeah. For size comparison, we'll grab Evasion Mode Prime. Or Cybertron Vortex. Mini figure from there you go. Okay, I don't know. I'm just grabbing what's around me, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can jump cut. Why don't I just do that? I uh, probably should just gonna take time. I don't want to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, other accessories he has. Like I said before, the missiles. Now he has the clips up here. Again, you can clip them up here and make them more G1 in that aspect that he has shoulder missile launchers. And then take this section and you just kind of take this blue section, which just untab it like that and take the wings, kind of pull them out or leave them in. It's before I attach it real quick, I'm just going to show you. Off. I'm just going to show off that nice detailing, especially on the insides here. Yeah, that's so nice outward detailing. It's the same on both sides, but still, that's nice detailing. I did find out that you can make this into like an animal if you want to. I'll show you that later, but it's kind of stupid, so I'm not going to show it off right now. But you just kind of take it, and there's a couple of holes up here. There's some slots left over from his vehicle mode when he was just kind of pegged in like that. Just kind of take them and fit them together. Then there are these little things down here. You just kind of want to align these back wings to that. Fold these out. And there you go. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but it looks pretty cool. And if you want to, you can take these missiles out, plug them in up here, and fold them down. And then there's like a little spot back here where you can take your thumb, push it, and then just... Really should fire. They're friction missiles, they don't really work, so... There you go. It, they don't really fire that far, but still, it's something you can do. So, display options, and again, you have these tabs back here. There goes Magnus. Uh, he's been out for a while, and for some reason, the hips on my Ultra Magnus are not holding up. Like seriously. Like. The joints on mine are just all just all loose and stuff. I don't I don't I'm not really even applying much pressure right now. Like when his knees are tighter than his hips, which is very common, then you kinda got a problem. But, yeah. I mean, he lo looks good. I mean, but we'll go ahead and go over articulation. Uh, his head is on a swivel. And then, shoulders are on a bicep. Or, like, they're on a ball joint. They're on a bicep. No, his, his shoulders are on a ball joint. 
stop doing that. Uh, they're on a ball joint up here. He's got a bicep swivel here. And if you need to, these shoulder pads will move in and out. See, like that. Uh, then got a bicep swivel here. And then he's got the thing there. Uh, shoulder pads can move in and out a little bit. So if you want to give them a whole lot of space under there, go ahead. If you don't want as much space, you can either do something kind of like that. Yeah, it was. That's like that. And then his fists can do this if you want them to. Probably not. Uh, it's nothing at the waist. Just, but I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take all this extra stuff off of it because it's just making it harder. There goes that. Uh, there goes all that. And these back panels are on ball joints too. So if you want to pose them. Or, something if you're one of those people. Uh, he's got ball joints in the hips, and so he's got nice forward range. Then back only about that much. Then he can do a perceptor kick at you. And then he's got a nice full range there at, at the knee, so really wind up a shot. He's got nice ankle pivots here on this joint, and then his foot's on an actual ball joint, so he can really get some dynamic motion in there, too. That's... <coughs> Sorry. That's all for transformation, but still. You can real get... I don't know why they put detailing on the bottom of his feet, but... Like, on the inside of the legs, which... Making hollow plastic look cool is still kind of like detailing, but still, I don't, I mean, like, you can really get this guy in some cool-looking poses. I'm going to kind of do this without him falling over, but, and if, come on, and if you want him to two-hand the hammer, he can do that too, kind of. You have to do a little bit of work to get him to do so, but he can do it. You're not going to be able to get very much dynamic posing out of it when he's doing this. So... Yeah, that's, that's about all you can do with that. Again. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review of Transformers Prime Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. And as always, if you enjoyed the review, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below in, in my description. I'll leave just a few facts about them. That's something I kind of do. Uh... Uh, I don't know, but uh, be sure to leave feedback and maybe tell me what you think of my new intros because those are pretty cool. I do think so. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.